Now let's create our hero area. To make our hero area, I'm gonna simply copy this text from here. So uh, you have to understand first uh, how the design is created. You have to uh, just imagine yourself how you can create this section. So I have already uh, done my imagination. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna copy the heading from here. So just let me uh, explain a little bit. If you just take a look at here, there are two columns. On the right hand side, there is image. On the left hand side, there is content. And at the background, there is another uh, container. Let's think about like a container. This is first container and this one is child container. So the, inside the first container or the parent container, you have to take two child container. Now let's go back to our page editor and simply type here container I'm gonna use the shortcut key from here and when I want to use two container I can simply select this one and you can see there are three container like the parent container and inside the parent container there are two container and you can also make the same thing here just add single container and then add another container and duplicate this one so as you can see there are three container and after that change the layout to flex direction and the flex direction should be row well uh, I'll be exploring this flex layout later on for other layouts but as of now just take a look at here copy the heading and just okay remove this container Add a heading tag, select all and control V, copy this one and if you just take a look at here there is an option called subheading. Select over here, activate the subheading and position change it to the above heading. Paste here and then copy the paragraph text, go to the editor. So as you can see there is a heading and I'd like to select the container so that I can use paragraph. Now now if I wanted to hover over my mouse I cannot uh, see the plus icon here to add paragraph. Now when I select container from here I can easily see the plus icon. But let's say the list view is hidden and you have selected the heading uh, block from here. Now what you can do to select the parent container of this heading block there's an option here you can see if you just hover over you can see select the parent block container you do not have to always use this list view you can simply select your element and you can just go back to the parent one that you have selected now select the container from here and you can see here the plus icon is available right now the still there is a container icon if I select again you can see it will select this whole parent container so I'll be using these features a lot of time in this tutorial so that uh, you can use to it and uh, I hope you understand now let's add plus icon uh, to add paragraph instead of taking paragraph I'll be using heading block and convert it to the paragraph tag because there are several features I wanted to use so I have added the paragraph text now I select the content and change the heading tag to the P tag because when I use direct paragraph from the block editor I will uh, I do not have the options to change the alignment to change the layout on responsive devices and that's why I have to use it uh, heading block and convert it to the P tag or paragraph so that I can use the alignment uh, if I want to change the alignment on responsive devices I can easily change them now let's add a button here so I just added a button and you can make it from inherit theme or just leave it select the button from here change the alignment to the left and below the button there is a little text
as long as you are using any third party plugin like spectra try to make sure you use the full benefit of it so let's see what is the font size here which is 16 pixel and let's add 16 pixel now we have added uh, the left side content it's time to add our image select the image and export the image so you can also verify the image that you're exporting which is uh, from the preview tab and i have already exported here the image size is 544 kilobyte which is huge and it's it's a good practice to make sure the image is less than 100 kilobyte i'm gonna reduce the image size to reduce the image size i'll be using photopia which is a free tools and it's an online tools alternative for photoshop it's really helpful and it works a little bit slower on your browser maybe uh, based on different location and computer so I just drag I just drag it from here to the photopia and now it's time to optimize this image just click on or hover over on add file so from hover over file and go to the export and choose webp and as you can see when I select webp the image size is similar same height same width but the size is 44 kilobyte but it was 544 kilobyte so see how much difference here and the quality i have selected to the 77 percent which is fine as long as the image is looking good now let's change the image name here select here type image and i'll be using a spectra block for image media library and upload our image and make sure you have added alternative text every single time when you upload any image to avoid any kind of SEO related on page SEO related issue so add a meaningful name let's say I just added hero image here so we have added our hero image and if you just take a look at our design the hero image or and this is our design and it looks similar now it's time to right now as you can see i have selected the image now i wanted to select the parent container the whole parent container how can i do that simply select here it just selected the container the parent container from the image and then i'm going to select again and you can see the whole container is highlighted now go back to the style tab click on color change the background color to our theme color and now we have completed our hero area just click on update and reload our page it looks like this but it's still the button it's not uh, looking perfect and there is a spacing and a page header let's reduce and fix them so for the page header I'm gonna uh, click on this eye icon to hide the page header and for the button as you remember i haven't activated the inherit from theme so when i inherit or click inherit from theme and click on update and reload this page the button looks like this so technically it should work but i don't know why it's not working let's reload again go to the content uh let's remove the button and add again here and see and uh, select inherit from theme click on update now and reload well uh, let's clear the cache still it's not working uh, maybe it's a little bug from spectra i don't know i'll uh, debug or investigate this later on but 
as of now instead of using a spectra button you can always use the default button so just select buttons and add your text here that's it it's exactly similar now click on update and i believe it will gonna work now it's working so i'm using the default button instead of using the spectra button so now the hero area is done and it looks like this there is little issue on the header because i have changed the button padding and that's why it also changed the header globally uh, let's fix out this the header first so type here a reload the uh, editor i have uh, already opened my editor here so uh, it's a good practice to open editor and dashboard and uh, the other pages uh, tabs here but do not open huge tabs it will slow down your computer now type here header select the button and just go to the spacing add padding 0 and just save change and see how it looks like as you can see the button is just working perfectly as of now well uh, we have completed the hero area but just take a look at the responsive view I'm gonna show you very quick easy tricks to fix the responsive view as you can see there is no padding here all you have to simply select the parent container I'm gonna open the list view so that you can understand where I am navigating and as you can see I just zoom out using my keyboard shortcut I'm pressing holding I'm just holding command and uh, just uh, click or press on plus and minus so you can see it's increasing and decreasing or zoom in or zoom out and if you're using windows you can simply uh, press ctrl and click on or just press on plus and uh, minus uh, from your keyboard now when i select container um, go to the style and go to spacing you can see there is no padding here let's add some padding and it's a good practice to add some padding on the left and right side but i do not want to use the top and bottom padding here for this section so i'm just unlink from here and the top is i have added zero and the bottom i have added is zero padding now if i click update change the view tablet it looks like this and the mobile devices it also looks like this so on the mobile device i would like to add some padding at the top and bottom you can see here there is no spacing at the top and bottom area so select the parent container i have already selected i go to the padding and add some spacing let's say generally uh, for mobile devices at the top and bottom sections section padding uh, which is standard to use 40 to 60 pixel padding at the top and 40 pixel at the bottom and when i add top and bottom padding uh, you can see the left is zero and right is zero and it reduced the padding on the left and right side and you have to make sure that the left and right padding is 20 pixel because the 20 pixel is a standard and you have to use it uh, individually now if i select the top let's add the 60 which is the higher top and bottom padding because as per our design which is a little bit uh, bigger typography bigger sections the 60 top and 60 bottom would be perfect here for this section click on update go to the spectra page and reload uh, well i have to add some padding on the tablet as well i forgot to add the padding let's select the mobile device it looks like this it looks perfect uh, you can change the font size from here and before changing that let's select the tablet add some padding top let's say 80 pixel bottom 80 for tablet and on the left and right side 2020 so i'm using the tabs from my keyboard to navigating on the left and right if you just take a look at here i'm, I'm pressing or holding the shift key and pressing the tab it's backward and just when i select only tab it's forwarded so that's a really useful things I, I i heavily use the shortcut key from my keyboard 
it's speed up the process and i'll be uh, using in the inter uh, video or the series tutorial uh, huge shortcut key here so please don't escape any of the part now let's navigate to the mobile devices select the heading here you can change the typography for mobile devices specifically let's say let's add 40 pixel and right now i think it's heading two i have selected the heading one because for this uh, home page there is only one heading on there should have only one heading one tag and the rest of the tag is a mixing like heading two heading three and other other tags and that's it and we have just completed our home page uh, hero area in our next part i'll be creating other sections so let's reload this page and see how or what we have created it looks it looks really nice